Holder of Vindication. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the Holder of Vindication. Should the worker's eyes roll into the back of his head, and his whole body begin to spasm, you have come to the correct place. He will seemingly sink into the floor. Do not attempt to go to his aid. Should you go around the desk before you have lost sight of his body, he will grab you and pull you into the black abyss with him. This is the holder's line of defense. Once the worker has disappeared, push the desk forward. It will be surprisingly easy to move. Underneath it, there will be a staircase of rusted grates leading into darkness. Follow these steps down to the bottom, which is farther than you could imagine. At the bottom, the air will be heavy with the smell of blood. Do not be surprised if you have trouble breathing in the horrific stench. The hall that greets you will appear to be made out of human skin and living flesh. As you move down the hallway, the walls around you seem to be almost pulsing or breathing. Do not touch these walls, for the slightest disturbance will cause the hall to close around you and slowly crush all life from you. Walk slowly and watch your step. Soon you will reach a rusty wrought iron door. It is polite to knock, but if something knocks back, apologize for the intrusion. If you begin running now, you may yet make it back to the surface. If nothing happens, you may enter. You will find yourself in a brightly lit room. Spread throughout will be stuffed animals and other children's toys. The comforting normalcy of the scene may make you want to let your guard down. Do not. Things are not as pleasant as they seem. Don't look too closely at the items scattered about. Each one is a toy you had or wanted as a child. Each one has subtle grotesqueries that have driven men mad. Bone and sinew will peek out through the matted fur of your favorite stuffed animal. Your toy car will appear to have been in an accident. Victims and all. No, it is best if you give them no more than a passing glance. For the holder is coming. He will materialize out of nowhere appearing to be a small boy wielding a stick as if it were a sword. He will begin to play fight with you. Do not attempt to stop his pretend sword, for it can easily cut you in half. Only one question will halt his attacks. How can we defend against them? The holder will stop and look at you for a moment before laughing in malicious glee. As you watch, he will dissolve into dust. He will leave only his eyes and the stick, which has become an actual sword. Leave it. It is not for you. The eyes are made of glass marbles with mist swirling around inside. One eye will protect you from blindness, and two can shield your eyes from even the horrors the holders present. But for each eye you take, you must leave an eye, and though they are no longer connected to you, holders will use them to watch you. The eyes are objects 281 or 538. From the other side, they follow your quest. Sometimes they cheer, sometimes they 